Hi, it's Louise at Spiral Bright Insight. It's the 1st of September and I just feel called to do a quick energy update for you. Um, basically because um, to kind of reflect on how I'm feeling and, you know, in the knowledge and understanding and the hope that I am not the only one and that there are some quite big sort of astrological and energetic um, reasons for it. Um, either that or I am going completely mad. Um, so basically since yesterday, it's continued today. Um, I have got this really quite sort of um, high level of anxiety. I feel restless. I feel unsettled. I feel quite jittery. I feel very irritable. I feel sorry for anybody living with me. Um, yeah, it's just a real kind of sense of feeling on edge, like something big is happening. I don't quite know what it is. It feels really big. It feels um sort of out of control to many, um you know, to a big extent, which, you know, at a human level is quite daunting. It's quite scary, but there's also a real sense of anticipation and excitement as if, you know, we are at the precipice of something really big and it's like you know when you sort of you kind of almost hold your breath because it's like oh my goodness what what's coming um I mean, what we're working with and I have covered a lot of this in my new moon video because we are in sort of the couple of days leading up to the new moon the energy is building um but we're working with particularly today the 1st of September some really big big energies and some really big astrological shifts so you know just acknowledging that we are energetic beings especially for those of us you know who are more sensitive who are empathic who are very in tune with the collective energy with the earth energy with what is going on you know this is affecting us at a really deep level and it is not easy energy to navigate so you know, if you are feeling really off, really unsettled, really jittery, just, you know, exactly what I've described or anything else, you know, there's, it's affecting us physically as well. Digestive systems, you know, are going to be affected. Um, you know, often it affects the muscular um, skeletal system, headaches, all sorts of things like that can manifest. So just be aware, be mindful that, you know, we are coping with a lot. Now, we are just to break it down and I'll do it as quickly as possible. Um, Pluto is currently at zero degrees, zero minutes of Aquarius. Now he is in retrograde motion. He is about to shift back into Capricorn tomorrow, which is a huge deal. And this is going to sort of trigger kind of that the end time in terms of Pluto's work in Capricorn and D sort of um demoli dem demolishing and breaking down and breaking um sort of yeah all the old systems and structures that perhaps you know we have relied on and been controlled and ruled by for millennia and um, so you know this is a really big deal in itself but at this zero degrees zero minutes point it's like this kind of um it's almost like a nothing energy the zero degrees is you know before anything comes in it's like full of potential um but you know anything can happen and that is kind of how it feels like you know we have got um yeah just this almost blank state now aquarian energy you know we've talked about that extensively but it is very rebellious energy it is about thinking outside the box being the maverick being the agent for change working for humanity for the collective um, you know, it is very much about freedom as well. So, you know, if you are feeling the urge to break free of something that maybe you felt stuck in, you know, this is absolutely on time and on point because, you know, this is, there's so much potential here. Um, but, you know, we also need space and, um, you know, that, yeah, ultimately Aquarian energy is about change. Now, at the same time, within hours of me recording this video, within four and a half hours, actually, um, Uranus, the great awakener, the planet of change, of disruption, of chaos, um, you know, of higher consciousness is going to go retrograde as well, which means all the outer planets will be in retrograde motion. Now, retrogrades bring us in. So we have experienced the energies, the shifts at a much deeper, more internal level. Now, Uranus is, you know, it's about awakening. So where we have become stuck, fixed, where we may be asleep, perhaps, 
um, you know, we are going to feel quite a big jolt um, of potential awakening and disruption um, just to kind of shake us out of our um, comfort zones in many ways and to help us to break free and to kind of claim that freedom that, you know, is our is our right. So, you know, Uranus is really electrical energy. You know, it um, really affects our nervous systems. You know, there's likely to be some short circuiting kind of going on at an energetic level. So be mindful of that. You know, we have got this is really strong Uranian Aquarian energy, which is about freedom, which is breaking free, which is about rebelling, which is, you know, ultimately, um, yeah, bringing change, bringing shifts. And of course, Pluto, you know, is yeah <laughs> the god of transformation and change as well so you know there is a lot to contend with here now um mercury at the same time and the moon are both together in leo which of course is the opposing sign to aquarius so you know we've got this um this act this axis aquarius versus leo being really quite strongly activated even though mercury and the moon are much further ahead in leo they're at 22 degrees so there's no conjunction here to work with but it is bringing these themes to the surface and you know within with leo we are being asked to step into the wholeness of us as individuals in our authenticity to really claim the courage to be ourselves to shine our lights really really brightly you know that inner flame that inner light and um, to really connect with that so that through mercury is our understanding of that and our ability to express that to give it a voice um, and to understand it as well um, and you know the moon is helping to kind of make it a much more internal and um, emotional sort of experience and then there's a beautiful trine with the moon and mercury with chiron with the wounded healer so again you know these really healing supportive energies coming through chiron and aries being all about you know how you know where are we wounded in terms of our identity and in who we are in our self-belief in our self-worth in our self-esteem just going back to Uranus, you know, working through Taurus, but now in retrograde as of this afternoon is really going to get us to consider, you know, our values, our self-worth. Um, Taurus is also our resources and our gifts and our talents. Um, so kind of focusing more, um, you know, obviously Taurus is an earth sign. So Uranus and Taurus is destabilizing and breaking through and breaking down and sort of re-organizing. Um, our um, material experience and our material resources you know that is a big part of that but as Uranus comes within it is more our internal resources so it is a review of um kind of a re-looking at and also a, an awakening of our internal resources which can be you know gifts and talents insights our ability to perceive our ability to be in tune with um sort of the earth at a more energetic level our inner strength Strength, our emotional stability, our resilience, our ability to cope with all the change that is happening, that internal knowledge that is coming through. You know, there are so many other things that we are going to be working with, but we are coming into this period now where almost all the, well, all the outer planets are going to be retrograde. So this is a real kind of time to experience that change, those big shifts, that big soul growth from the inside out. And it really is my belief, you know, that as long as we are waiting for change to happen outside there, for things to come in line, to things to be revealed, exposed, you know, we're always going to be waiting because, you know, that is an external thing and we don't have control of that whereas we can control our inner worlds and our inner experience and our inner understanding and our inner awakening and as we make ch shifts and changes at an internal level the way the universe works is for that to ripple out and our outer world and will sort of change and shift to reflect our inner changes back at us and that is I believe how a lot of these big shifts are going to take place. So we've got this amazing opportunity now, you know, over the next few months um, to really kind of experience this really profound, really deep change. But it is not easy. You know, it is really un unsettling. Of course it is. And it's like our higher selves already know what's coming. They know it. They know 
you know, what we've signed up to, but at a human level, you know, some of you might know, be completely in tune, but, um, you know, not all of us do know what's coming and it is a real sort of test of faith, of strength and trust and also surrendering and just allowing all these changes to take place and knowing that it is for our greatest good and actually although the path may go in a completely different direction to what you were expecting or what you'd sort of planned you know it's trusting that the destination is the same and you know it is very much we can't we can't go wrong we can't get this wrong um but, you know, we don't necessarily know quite how it's going to work out and what it's going to look like. So it is a real test of strength. Now, the other thing I just wanted to add is the fact that Mars is opposing the galactic centre at the same time. So, you know, Mars and Gemini towards the end of this sign is really quick. You know, this is air energy. There is a lot of speed, a lot of momentum and um, things are changing really quickly. You know, we're going from pillar to post um, with that Gemini energy making choices decisions not really knowing you know this is mutable energy so again big big shifts but with the galactic center as well it's like literally all this divine wisdom these light codes these energetic upgrades um you know this higher mind this higher frequency higher level of consciousness is there and it's beaming in and mars is sort of trying to grab it and try to make sense of it through the gemini energy trying to make it more accessible more localized if you like so you know to make it part of our more immediate um experience a more human experience so again you know these are upgrades so we've got uranus really strong and uh, we've got the aquarian energy through pluto activating the zero degrees and the potential that brings we've got mars opposing the galactic center no wonder you know, I'm feeling jittery and my nervous system feels like it is being fried because quite frankly, it is. And if you also take into account that Virgo, the sun, sorry, is in Virgo, which, you know, is kind of it's a very physical experience as well. Virgo, you know, in its lower expression, you can get so completely, you know, kind of focused in the mind that you go into overwhelm it virgo is our nervous system it's our digestive system it's the, the way our body functions so again you know this is really affecting that as well so <laughs> just be mindful you know we are really on the cusps of some big changes yes they're ongoing yes it's still you know this is nothing new but it feels like it's stepping up a gear so if you are responding to it if you are finding it tricky you know come back to the breath just breathe trust and know that it is a transit it is not going to stay the same it's not going to be like this forever and um, but you know we this is part of the process and we have to experience the shifts at an internal level if we are to help create that shift externally as well so this is how we support the ascension process this is how we support Gaia this is how we are kind of playing that role and it's not supposed to be a breath of a walk in the park it's not supposed to be easy you know because these are big shifts and yeah it's a big deal but we are okay we can do it and, you know, if you are feeling anything similar, feel free to share because I think it really does, you know, help everybody just to know that we're not alone and, you know, we're not going crazy and, um, yeah, and it's not going to last. So, yeah, anyway, I hope that helps. Um, and, yeah, I'll be back soon to share more, no doubt, because there's a lot going on this month. So happy September, everybody. I'll see you soon.